Hey, what's going on guys? Let's talk about how a hyper-local website can help you rank in the Google 3 pack. Watch this. All right guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to create a hyper-local website. And on that website, you're going to embed bus stops, your local firehouses, police stations, things to do, ATMs, and more. All by creating map embeds with directions going to your address. Sexy, huh? So you're watching this video because you're trying to rank in the Google 3 pack and you may have a lot of competition in your area. And let's face it, sometimes we have to think out of the box. So. I think that this idea may help you. It's, it's something that, that I've been working on and I use for my clients. So, you know, I want to pass it on and show you what I'm doing. So just to get on the same page, um, what we try to do is rank. We're trying to rank right here in the Google 3 pack. This is the most clicked on uh, section in Google. For example, when somebody's looking for a local service, like a local home builder or a DUI or an electrician, so on and so forth, anything local, people most likely are going to click in this in this area. Not only on desktop, but it's even easier on on mobile, where it's just a tap to call. All right. So the keyword is home remodeler, and we're trying to get our client in this area, and there's a lot of competition. Well, if we go over to the next frame, this area right here highlighted is 10309, the zip code in Staten Island, New York, 10309. Now, I want you to think about something. If you're trying to rank in the Google 3-pack for this keyword in this area, all your signals have to come in this area. Let me tell you what I mean. There are people that buy links, and they're buying links from all over the United States. And I'm not saying that that doesn't work, but I want you to think local. Your links should come within here. And if you're thinking right now, you may be saying to yourself, well, how am I going to get links at, for example, Richmond Music Center? or the Rossville train station, or the Rossville park, or something like that. Like, how am I going to get that? I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you how you do that. Okay? So, the first thing that I'd like you to do is, is type in your area, whether it's Tampa Bay, 337-8982, whatever the zip code is here, right? Tampa Bay, whatever your area is. And then I want you to see this red line that outlines... That's the first thing that you should do. Now, the second thing you need to do is you need to see if there's any, any schools in this area. In this one, we have Tottenville High School. Now, you could place an ad on their website. You could sponsor an ad on their website for something like $25. I would call or email that school and see if we could do a sponsorship and get a link going back to your website from the school. That is a very powerful signal. That's the first thing that you can do, and it's about $25. Should be around between $25 and $50 for most schools, right? A lot of, a lot of them have some type of sponsor page. You just need it online. You don't need it in the book, all right? Don't let them oversell you. You just need a link on the school website back to your website. The other signals we're going to create. We're going to create the signals. We're not going to send out emails to anyone else and ask them for any type of any type of signals. Okay. So here's the idea. I created a website called Staten Island 10309. It's a Google site. Meaning that if you just, uh, Google gives away free, free websites, it's at, uh, I'll put the address, I'll put the address right here on the screen, right? So you just go to, you just go to Google and go to Google Sites rather, 
and use one of their templates. I don't care how it looks. This isn't a work of art. The only thing that I want you to do is use relevant pictures. So, for example, if you type in Staten Island, New York, 10309, and if you Google, if you Google that image, I'll show you what I mean. I want you to use images in, in Google for 10309. Don't just pick pictures just because you like them. You notice there's a vacant lot. There's a gym here. Yeah, I used to go to that gym, right? There's new homes. This is what Google sees relevant as 10309. So you may want to take pictures like this and just modify them a bit so you're not using somebody else's pictures. There's any pictures here from the government. You could use those. Those are free to use, right? You just you got to use your head a little bit. Now, remember something. You're not using it for your website. You're using it for this website that you're trying to get geo-relevance for, which is Staten Island 10309. So you're going to go buy a domain name. Staten Island 10309 or Tampa Bay 33782. You're going to use the name of the town that you're in and you're going to use the, um, the zip code that you're in. Okay, so you know, Tampa Bay is a big area. Uh, that's like saying New York. Y you want to use the exact, like the borough or the section or the town that you're in. Don't try to, don't try to take over Arizona. You know what I mean? Or, or take over California. Use uh, like Mission Bay, San Diego. Don't just use San Diego. That's real important. Okay, so we we took Staten Island 10309. Very, very good. Okay, right? And that this, once again, this is a Google site. Now, here's where it gets sexy. And, I, and at the end, I'm going to show you where you really don't have to do anything. You're going to type in bus stops. And then what you're going to do is you're going to find several bus stops and you're going to embed the maps on this page going from different bus stops to your business. Okay? So you're going to take the you're going to take the maps you're going to embed the maps, you're going to put them on this page, and you're going to take several bus stops and just link them to your address. Then you're going to take fire stations, all the fire stations in uh, 10309. Whoops, excuse me. Maps. Right, all the fire stations in this area, you're going to find on Google... And you're gonna, you're going to embed all the maps of the fire stations going to your location. Now, even if your location you hide the address, you could still do this. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing with police stations, and then any kind of attractions or things to do. Now. Let's just say that you're like, okay, that's a great idea. That's, that's excellent. That's something that I want to do, but I don't really have time for it, right? I don't really have time for this, and I don't really know how to make a Google site. Now, look, you could just go on YouTube, how to create a Google site, and you could take, a, you could take literally an hour over the weekend, and you'll be able to do it. But let's just say you don't want to do that, you, you, and, and you notice I didn't show you how to do map embeds. I didn't want this to be a three-hour video, right? Not that it takes three hours to do map embeds, but I didn't want this to be a long video. I'm giving you the overview, and then, and then you could you know, you, you find out how to do it, right? So now, you, now you, you want to learn how to do map embeds. You just type into Google how to do map embeds, and there's plenty of videos on how to do map embeds. But let's just say you don't want to do either. Come over to Fiverr, type in Google Sites. There are plenty of people that do Google Sites. Take my website, the Staten Island 10309, and just send it to, the, to anyone and say, hey, I need a website like this. And embed these maps 
or or you could send them the maps if you want, right? Send them the maps. Say, look, I need uh, Sagain Mansion. I need Clay Pit Pond State Park. Like, just send them a list and say, I need I need you to embed maps going from this place to this place. Just create a site like this. All right. Just make all your directions go to your location. Right? Now, you could get it done on Google. I mean, not on Google, on, on Fiverr. I, I saw one for $20, other for $5, you know? But this guy has 18, 18 people who've used it, so it seems pretty reliable, right? This one has 167 for $5. I'm sure once you create more pages it may be a little bit more but personally I wouldn't spend the whole weekend or one day out of the weekend creating these sites but I would come over to Fiverr and say hey look see this site I need you to create something like this I don't care what theme you use but I need you to create a site like this All right write a little something on the home page just just uh, do a little Wikipedia don't don't copy word for word, just, you know, just summarize in your own, in your own head, right? And then write it down. And then, um, and then just send it over to them and they'll create the site. And then you connect it to, uh, to a, uh, a domain name, 10309, throw it up on your host. And that's it. You're ready to go. And you are ready to go. So, one of the reasons why I made this video is because I think it's a very, very good idea. You need to show geo relevance, right? Now, one of the other things you do, wait, and then the other thing is I want your suggestions. So if you have any suggestions how I could make this website better, put it in the comment box below, please. I'd be very interested in what you have to say. Now, the other thing I do the other thing I do, well, this is this is something you're not going to believe. I create a YouTube video once again. You, once again, you could have it done on Fiverr, and I do a YouTube video just about this area, 10309, Staten Island, 10309, and I may do it on specific uh, YouTube video on just on Rossville, and another one just on Arthur Kill, and another one just on Tottenville. Right. And then what I do is I take this link and I just put it in the description of the YouTube video. It does two things. One, it helps index this website. And two, you're getting a, a, a link back from 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 YouTube, which is a Google property. I probably I probably said more than I should have said on this video. Right. But you get the idea. So you create this 10309 website, this hyper-local website. You put in all relative properties all and all, all map embeds, all the map embeds on this video. Then once you, uh, I mean on this page, then once you create this page, you create several YouTube videos on Rossville, on Tottenville, on Pleasant Plains, create four or five different videos, and in the description, you put this link. And this link links, and, 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 and this link right up top here, you put in the description of the YouTube video, and it links back to this site. How's that? Now, let your imagination go. What I need you to do is I need you to stare at this area and I want you to type in your own area and now I want you to look at this map a little bit different and now I want you to say what properties can I create with links going back to my website well I can make YouTube videos right I could I could do Google Sites I could create Tumblr accounts. I could create blogger accounts. I could create a, a, a blogger on Arthur Kill Road. Just do some research. Put some pictures about Arthur Kill Road and, and, and some text about that and then link back. 
you create your own properties in this area. That's how you create geo relevance. And any other links that you could pick up by emailing somebody, you need your links in this area. Guys, this was this was a this was a killer. This was a great video. You got to admit it, right? Well, I hope you like it. <laughs> I hope you like it if nothing if nothing else. I hope it helped. And, and here's what I need you to do. Just put in the description any ways that we could improve this. Because like I said, this was an idea that I came up with. And I know your wheels are turning and watching the video. You're like, hey, man, I know how to make this thing better. So put it in the description below. And, and, and maybe I'll add it to my website or I'll go back and forth with you. I think uh, I'm really interested. It's something that I developed. And, and um, I'd be very interested in your thoughts in regards to what you think if you think this is uh, this is this is something that that you'd like to do for your for, for for a site that you're trying to rank remember guys we're trying to rank in the Google three pack right and if you're trying to rank in the Google three pack for your zip code all your actions have to come right here they got to be super focused in this area and not just with backlinks, with map embeds. And nobody, a high school isn't going to let you uh, embed a map on their website back to your website. Create your own properties. Create your own properties with links back to your website. Guys, had a great time doing this. I hope that this helped you. And uh, like I say in my videos, please take care of your family. That's the thing that's most important. Please take care of your families. Be good to your wife and be good to your kids. And give your wife a kiss every once in a while and be nice to her. You know, do that and be good to your kids. And, and it, it'll all come back in the end. All right. If it hasn't already, and I'm sure it has. Guys, have a great day and we'll catch you soon.